Hi, it's Andrew Hill from Sydney, Australia. I'm an AATC tennis coach, and today I'll be talking on the tennis rating system that we use in our centre and that we share with other coaches around Australia. Uh, you'll notice a lot on these colours that you've seen there, and the colours will represent a whole lot of different levels. Uh, what it does is it puts everyone of all ages, all levels, all abilities, all on one pathway. So just a bit of a background, I've been coaching tennis for 40 years and uh, it's been a pleasure. I'm now the Education Director for AATC Tennis and with that I've got some experience from Sydney International as the head coach and was part of the Leighton Hewitt Tennis Academy and originally um, I was the New South Wales Tennis Development Officer to write programs like ACE and SMASH and after finishing there, I started to lead into my own business with a, the Sports Star program, which is school-based, trying to get uh, a lot of kids uh, looking at gross motor and into, uh, into tennis uh, through multi-sports. And then that transfers to a, another program called Court Sports, which is bringing them back to your tennis center and modifying the game on a tennis court. So it uh, keeps your infrastructure. And these, all these things come into my company called AJ Hedge Sports. Now today we're looking at a rating system. So what has been great is we've come up with an idea, the Stars Tennis Australasian rating system. And a one would be someone like a Leighton Hewitt, a top level player, right through to a 20 who's a raw beginner. And a lot of the other systems sort of start at this 15 level where they start to play competition but there's this early grassroots base, uh, base of players is so important that we look after it because within that large base, there's a better chance of finding super champs or stars in the elite area. So it's run by tennis coaches to help them with their business, but develop and promote the game of tennis. So there's a pathway so uh, the idea is that a child might start at a 20 and they follow the rating system and it's color coded so they know what sort of level grade they're at and where they are in relation to the, the big table. But the idea is it also gives them a list of things to do and we'll have a little look at that. So coaches become responsible and there's also a, a massive business tool that we can do to help here. So the first thing is when we talk as coaches, we talk in ratings. So we talk about one to three. And in that particular range, there's a whole lot of different things. And as, as you'll see, it's like a graph with some technical, tactical, mental, physical, but it's very precise. So we talk about numbers. When we talk about your grade, a grade could be a three numbers or more. And what you're doing is we can actually organize tournaments with people of the same grade. And uh, there's a critical point when you move from one grade to another, but there's actual components that make that happen or competencies. And by doing this as a competence based uh, system, instead of an analog system where they measure the score, it actually is more of a teacher training and, and coach assessment task. So in terms of a certificate, you've got like a player's chart and there's these four things, technical, tactical, mental, and physical. And there's a grasp of skills and they can be broken down into ground strokes, forehand, backhand, volley, serve, and return a serve. And depending on how you go is, is like a graph. In the tactical is how you use those skills in a game. So there's components there that um, can be assessed. When it gets over to mental and physical components, there are about 20 components in each of these lists. And what you're trying to do is collect all 20 things. And the more things you can collect, the more complete a player you are. Physical uh, and mental are linked, but they're separate entities and they actually work together. This is a coach chart and on the actual website, it has hyperlinks, so when you put it breaks it down exactly the same way, a little bit more for the, the coach. And when you put your cursor on a particular segment, it actually breaks it right down. Now you still have your A pluses and minuses um, and all these different things, but when you look at a player, you can actually suggest, 
are they up to a particular area and this is where the graph can go up and down you can have someone with very high ground strokes and low volleys and then you can have someone who's got great volleys and a great serve and, and that game works together and they're not as comfy at the back so this is where the tactics and the strategies come they uh, they use their tactics and strategies to uh, enhance their best skills on the court now the mental and physical they're in alphabetical order and you're trying to collect all these skills or attributes so that um, you become a complete player and this was the original Australian NTPR system and it was used as a language so that we could start to get everyone on the on the one path now competencies are in groups so what we try and do is we're trying to work on these colors and the colors are good for marketing but at the end of the day you're trying to jump from one segment to another and sort of go up these steps and, and become a a more complete player and you've got your grades over here on this side these are terms that sometimes people use either you're an elite player or you're a novice you're just starting the game a beginner means they're just learning skills so there's some key terms that are used uh, this actually just gives you an overview and these are nice terms that you could use for parents and people and, and teachers could sort of assess where uh, kids are up to and they get a fine-tune um, grading from their coach now one of the areas here is uh, we do a lot of work with Google and there's a great tool which is Google My Business and it shows you where your tennis court is on Google Maps so I definitely recommend coaches go in claim your business there's a free website but most importantly there's this other component called Google Contacts which is all the data so when people try and contact you and one of the big Business tools is your data is your data. You don't share that with anyone. That's your business, that's your goodwill. In that one, you'll see in the next slide that we ask for the a registration number and the rating. And we're trying to get all the coaches to work together on a register to try and work out um, local areas so that we can assess who's where and put them into local comps. So if you want to find out more on your business, you can just touch that. There's a bit of an idea of what you'll be seeing when uh, when you touch it. So the next section is my coach is. So the idea of all that data that you hold, the coach and their business, the goodwill of the business, your data is your data. And what we're asking is only the player code and the rating to go onto an external website. It shows a Google map as to where your coach is and you have a column where your kids have got like a special code and also a grade and it's an assessment task so that uh, people know where they're up to uh, but we can actually assess um, where the coach is the name and location but also the player who is uh, going to the coach and if you want to get any information you go to your local coach and the information is passed that way and that uh, just backs up the small business of tennis coaching now with the system this can information can go national state the councils your local councils we can actually work through postcodes or even players in the area of a certain grade so that matches can come together and the idea is that you could have any age any level any ability and people can just play for the, the love of tennis and you can find people of different abilities can join in we've got different colors here and what we can do is put different groups together because we have a rating handicap now the idea is um, the data that goes in goes into a column and people can work out uh, local areas where they can play and actually goes through their school it's like a talent ID their area is their postcode region is their council and then finally you've got your state where you can actually meet as a state tournament grades and um, and just offer a pathway for different people so the information that goes in is your postcode your birthday and initials and that way we can sort of assess where everyone's up to and organize tournaments for you uh, you can do tournaments comps camps in the holidays they're all assessment tasks that teachers and coaches can work together and you'll find there's even a self-assessment tool so when you go into this one uh, the coaches are given uh, I find using different colors 
uh, are quite good for the kids. Uh, they can meet at the net and say I'm at uh, a certain level and they can play someone else. Uh, they can work out what the handicapping is and you can get a rating which is sort of one pathway from beginner right through to elite. Uh, we have butt stickers, we have string dampeners where you can actually use those. Some tennis centres have a special card that the kids get and then they wait and uh, move up to their next level. But it's a little bit of feedback, a rating card that goes to the parents so that they know that you're on a, a particular path with uh, your tennis and that you're developing. Now, thank you uh, for your time today because um, it's quite exciting and a big thank you to AATC Tennis. And if you want to find out more, you can email me at info at starstv.com.au. But these are business tools that we believe can help your business. And uh, with a one common pathway or one language, we can actually talk together and come up with better ways of uh, helping the kids. We've got some other marketing tools there that can help. So we have like a, a sheet and, and really this is run by the tennis coaches. There's 20 points to the system. It's like a language and the parents can use these grades, but the coaches who are more precise and teachers will use these sort of levels uh, from one to 20. It's one pathway from grassroots up and um, it can be used for singles and doubles and with the handicapping system you can actually mix it around so there's a star cap uh, the coaches can use this as a, a checklist uh, for all those four components technical tactical mental and physical and there's things with the hyperlinks that allow people to find out more information now you can go and get go to your local coach and, and get a, uh, a rating but there is a way of doing a self rating and when you come to a club we can sort of check that and make sure that you're into the correct category. Now the idea of the My Coach Registry is one platform to assist all coaches and kids can see where they're up to. If you go outside your area, it's a one-stop shop where you can check where they're up to. Now one of the other really good things is we've been doing match play in our lessons. So um, that way the coaches can see what's happening mentally. Uh, are they making good decisions? And we've come up with a shorter option, which is four by four or 21 tennis. So uh, definitely give that a go. Make sure it's for everyone. And uh, we look forward to trying and assisting you. Uh, with the parents, these are just general ca categories or competencies or proficiencies. And it sort of gives you an idea of what we're looking for at these different areas. So it's once again, a good language that parents can use and coaches can use to make sure that we're assisting the student to get to the next level. So thanks again for your time uh, and we look forward to seeing you on court.